before we get into what we're doing today in today's video, yeah, um, I just wanted to add in a clip that we did yesterday. Um, it was just a little bit of a follow up to the house. Um, I don't know if a lot of you are interested in the updates of our house, but I am. And I think it's nice to have these um, videos so we can look back. I mean, we've been in this house for a year now um, and all we've got is photos, which is nice. But this way we have um, video and we can see what what it looks like in a couple of months time. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you that now. Now we've got a massive gap in uh, another side of our house. No longer is there another window. Now we've just got to try and get this bit off, but um, I think it's all attached, so it's all attached to this bit inside as well because this used to be a light, but this whole bit is plastic. Even this bit feels plastic. So I think we have to take it all down in one go, which should be interesting. <laughs> so as you would have just seen in that clip we tried to bring it down with just like our weight <laughs> but obviously the one thing they did right was put this one up and secure so probably that's the only thing in the house that they probably did correct
doesn't look like it's intact oh, in anything. Right. It's all right. It's fine. have it we have no windows everything is gone just brick wall crap that little snippet just to give you a little bit of an update as to what we what we've done and so like when you see it next you won't think oh where did that where, when did you do that but yeah let's so get on with breakfast it. this morning i'm just gonna keep it really really simple and just have um cereal so i think i'm just gonna have um crunchy nut and almond milk that's it very very simple so i'm gonna just use almond milk instead of milk because I don't know, I just prefer the taste of this. But it's a funny story. For Christmas, just gone, from <laughs> one of my nans, she bought me a crate full of this almond milk. So um, when she gave it, it was like this big basket, really heavy. Um, and I was under the impression it was just um, Madison and James's part two gift because she got them like a hamper, like a Christmas hamper with all like um, food and things like that. So I just thought it was like the second part because it was so heavy. So it turns out I have uh, quite a lot of almond milk. So thanks, Nan. <laughs> It's just a very plain and simple crunchy nut. So it is the second day of the challenge I set myself of doing a makeup look focusing more on the eyes a day. So we had the Alien palette on the first day. So now we're just going to do another number generator to figure out what day number two is going to be. Number six. Blood sugar. Okay, that is one of my absolute favourite palettes, so let's get... Mm. So if anyone was wondering what the setup's like when I film these um, eye makeups, basically I sit you on my... <laughs> no, I don't sit you, I sit myself on radio, so I have my brushes there. I have a mirror here that this is what I look into, and then I actually film you on my iPad. <laughs> because I don't have a, a camera, so it's either on this phone or the iPad. So yeah, that's how I do it. And also next to me here is my makeup bag. So, but I think today I'm gonna be more organized and just have it all like laying here for me. I don't know. And then obviously this is what we're using today. Today is day two of the, um, I need to think of the name of this really because it's all I can say is the makeup, eye palette, challenge thing I, <laughs> I can't think of a name anyway so today we are using the blood sugar palette this is my absolute favorite palette 
I normally use it um, at Christmas because it's all like the nice reds and things. So I use a lot of it for Christmas time because as I said, reds, the golds, it can pull off a really nice Christmassy look. So as I said, we've got Cape Mick, Sugarcane and Tongue Pop. They're my three favourite, favourite neutrals. So yeah, um, the thing is, is I don't want to do the same looks every single time, but I almost want to grab, like, gravitate towards those. So like the cut creases and all of that. Oh, oh, I don't know. But first I'm going to start with my hair. I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to try and just French braid this whole bit so it's out of my face. So this will stay, stay here, but this is, will be French braided. So it's just out of the way. So I will oh, get my brush. Okay, there we go. Let's see how well that turns out. Is when I do these um, makeup or sit down things, I have to make sure that <laughs> no one is doing anything. So if we have those um, rings, um, it means every time someone's in the garden, it goes off and I have no control of turning it actually off in the house. So when I'm doing these, I'm really trying to make sure <laughs> that no one is here doing anything especially in the garden so like today um i don't think we'll be doing any housework because the weather's not the weather's not great at all um so i think today will just be uh not a mooch around but um we won't really be doing a lot on the house um so today i think i'm obviously going to do this and then i when we went and did our weekly shop um on sunday i went in popped into boots he just um he did something but in there uh was a gel removing kit um yeah a gel removing kit so i mean i before we went into lockdown no not even lockdown is it called lockdown before we were all sent home um I kept saying to myself, I need to go get my nails done, I need to go get my nails done because I had them done a little while ago, maybe February time, or maybe the beginning of March I got them done and now they're looking a bit mm, worse for wear. So this gel removing kit I think might help because I have gels. I've tried it with just normal nail polish but it doesn't do a lot. So I think later I'm going to have to go at that but I might need help. We'll see. So now my base is done. It's very basic. A bit of contour, um, concealer and foundation. I don't do my brows because if I start doing anything, they look crazy. So we are going to, what are we going to do? Um, I don't know, do we do the whole red? A natural sort of look? I mean, I don't want to do purples because the purples, like these, I don't really want to do those because we did a lot of purple for the alien. Hmm. Maybe we'll do like a pink. Um. Oh well, let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's just start and let's just see what happens. So I just had to change my setup because my um, iPad just ran out of battery because I am so clever and didn't charge it. there or up there 
it actually balanced on my windowsill, which looks out into our street. So <laughs> sometimes my neighbours are walking past and they're looking in like, what is she doing? They probably think we're crazy anyway, but this just adds to the effect. Liner and mascara. Now I'm just trying to think what lipstick. Do I do pink again? <clears throat> I don't know. Hmm. Let's have a look. I'm going to try um, Calabasas. So there you have it. It's all finished with the blood sugar palette. So I was saying earlier that I wanted to get rid of this. So we bought this the other day. But I've just realised that we need to have our own nail polish remover so luckily we have some I mean I don't know how old it is I don't know whether it's gonna work because it's not a uh, what does that say the the one that they recommend but um, we'll see So for dinner tonight we are having goulash, that's what it's supposed to look like. So for ingredients you will need diced beef, carrots, uh, tomato puree, chopped tomatoes, red onion, we're going to use butternut squash instead of potato, um, mixed peppers, garlic granules and paprika. Also you will need beef stock. So that's one hand done. I'm sure there was a simpler way to do that. We need to leave these on for 15 minutes now. Okay, so mum's going to do the, the second, uh, the second, the other hand. Okay, so now wait for another 15 minutes for this one. Okay, so we've waited the 15 minutes for both. So now it's just time to scrape it off. Let's see. Do the hand on. So this is what they look like now. I don't know if you can see. I think you can see me. Yeah. <laughs> 
and we're just gonna scrape them. Do you know I hate this bit of the nail paste. Okay, so we're gonna try it on for a little bit longer because it's not coming off. So we'll try it again in a minute. First. Okay, so we're gonna try this hand first. Give her a little bit. <laughs> Do you reckon if we did that, it'd come off as well? We might do. But if I got the metal nail file. Maybe. Let's see it. Let's just leave that one for a minute because I think we might be able to get it off with just nail polish remover after that. Right. Ta da! Let there be light. I need to try it with this. You know what? <laughs> Not a bloody potato. <laughs> no, no, I was just thinking that. <laughs> Okay. Oh look, came off in there. What did? The top bit. Oh look. Actually that one's already broken off. Oh is it? <laughs> <laughs> did it now? Yeah, that's might be why it's easy because it's ready to come off. Does it? No. Oh. <laughs> Hola. What? What are you doing? Can I take my nails off? Swear. Oh. Don't swear, we are live on ITV or Channel 4, whatever B Big Brother was on. Big Brother, Channel 5. Oh. Uh, 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 Channel 5. In the end, wouldn't it? Please, do not swear, you are live. <laughs> Finding your own. <laughs> <laughs> Got ya. <laughs> Tell me if I'm fond of your brr. <laughs> skin. Okay. Done. Hurrah. Okay, so this is the finished. Look, we didn't fully do the what they said in the instructions because after putting them in a foil, they didn't really look like it was coming off. So we just improvised and filed them down. So yeah. <laughs>